Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you these GE incandescent vintage style warm cam with glow 40 watt amber glass medium base bulbs. Now these you may have seen recently in the Lowe's lighting section video and that Lowe's has recently donated all that stuff to my local restore so this is where I found it. So for 50 cents we get this nice box of bulbs here that I can share with all of you. First off, I find it kind of interesting that uh, being a candle bulb or a flame shaped bulb, why is it in a pendant? You'd probably want it in something like this, because it is a flame after all. But, you know, you can use it however you'd like. There's the front of the packaging, pretty basic. On the back, or the side here rather, we can see it's GE's interesting shape. Naturally, they've done this for a very long time, where they have kind of a pinch here around the base of the flame or of the bulb, standard ones, you know, will just come right up, where here we have the little, you know, it's kind of skinnier. On the back of the packaging, just some basic information, and here's the other side. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is, do you notice anything missing? I don't see the lighting facts. That new standard that you're supposed to have on the packages, maybe certain bulbs are exempt from that, or maybe this has been sitting around on their shelves for quite a while and it didn't have it at that time. I mean, we have some information right here, but that mandatory stuff, at least I thought it was, is nowhere to be found on this packaging. One thing that I do like, though, is the actual size uh, picture of the bulb here on the side. That's pretty nice. It gives us a nice view of the filament design inside. But yeah, there's no mention of lighting facts anywhere on here. Let's go ahead and open it up. We get two bulbs naturally. So we'll take out this uh, container top here. I've already opened this up at the restore just to make sure the bulbs were okay. Set that aside. Let's take a look at one of them. So we have what appears to be a brass base here. And of course the amber glass looks like it's kind of just a clear glass with some type of spray on it really. And you can see the kind of loop-de-loop -loop filament. It goes up, down, around the side here, and one more loop. But you can also see um, right here how it's pretty close to each other. I'm sure maybe that's a, a weak point. You know, if they touch each other there, it kind of shorts it out a little bit. Other than that, a pretty unique design. Obviously, this one is exactly the same. So... Let's go ahead and put it into our socket here. Uh, but before we do that, we'll take a look at the base. GE 120 volt, 40 watt China. Yeah, we got it dimmed a little bit there, so that's at full brightness. But I like using these incandescent vintage bulbs on a dimmer like this because when you dim it down like this, now that actually looks vintage and antique you know they weren't exactly that bright back in the day but nowadays we can make it incredibly bright so being on a dimmer as well allows you to appreciate the way that they have the filament you know spun around on the inside so let's turn off the lights so we can appreciate it a little more dim it down here a little bit oops that was a little too much try to bring it back up but once you get it Oh, I keep not being able to get it just right. Once you get it a nice glow, it it really is very pleasing. Now it's wanting to overexpose everything, but whatever. So let's bring it up to full brightness here. We'll hold it above the camera. This is on its side. And we're about two feet away from the Lux meter sensor. And we're getting about 107, 106 Lux. Let's see, we're getting 37.7 watts. Of course, on its side here, you get a little more light than if it's pointing straight down. You can see the tip of the bulb there and the effect that it gives off. But yes, a very pleasing, nice dim incandescent light for sure. I'm sure, you know, they're getting rid of these to uh, make way for the new filament LED versions. But those don't dim as nicely as these do to provide that nice, pleasing, you know, just ambiance or, you know, aesthetics to the room. You know, maybe you just want to glow. You don't really want it to light everything up. You just want something that kind of, you know, accents an area. And when you dim these down, that definitely gives you that vintage feeling more than 
when it's super bright like this. It just feels more correct. So it'd be nice, you know, if they made lower wattage versions of these, you know, that would be this dim. That would be pretty cool. But I suppose they'd be like, that's too inefficient. Take one more look at the filament design here. Again, you can see how close the two get toward the bottom. But otherwise, a pretty nice and unique design. Well, anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of these GE incandescent vintage style warm candle light bulbs. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.